Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty stash or welcome if it is your first time here. Hello, my name is Steph. I would love to have you become part of our makeup family. So be sure to click on that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Today I have a ColourPop haul to share with you. We're gonna go through everything that I got and we're gonna try on uh, most of these items I'll be able to try on and we'll see whether or not these items are worth your time and your money. I got a little bit of everything. In this box, I have some of the items from the Let's Roll collection, that roller skate collection that came out about a week or two ago, and I just cannot wait to dive into everything. They also sent a free blush right here. This one is in the shade Foxy, which I happen to have one already up here, so I'm not going to open that one. I'm just going to show you what mine looks like, but that is the shade Foxy. It's a really nice peach shade so i'll add this one to a giveaway an upcoming giveaway and yeah guys we're just gonna go through and try out everything i will be creating one look with the let's roll palette but first and foremost i bought the soul body vanilla candle and we gotta light this little baby up Guys, just the box alone, it smells like vanilla. Like, you don't even need to remove the candle to get the aroma. Oh, yeah. And this has this has a nice weight to it. This is a pretty good size. I would say this is bigger than the, uh, the Hocus Pocus candle that was released last year. So I have my lighter. Let's go ahead and light this up. Perfect. There we go. Now I'm going to set this on a table behind me because there's no room for it and I don't want to start a fire up here on my filming desk. Okay, so the candle I think is pretty much a winner already. Let me go ahead and show you the other things. So let's start with the eyeshadow palette. This came out, I think it wasn't this past week, it was last week. I did order the new Winnie the Pooh collection and I think it arrives, it is Sunday when I'm filming this video, I think it arrives tomorrow or Tuesday. So I will most definitely have that video up ASAP. But here is the Let's Roll palette. I thought this was so cute. How many of you guys roller skated or who still roller skates? I know people that still roller skate. And I always loved to roller skate. Um, we have a couple uh, local roller skate rinks. And when I was younger, I would always have a party. Like my birthday parties were always at, at those places. Not always, but I think I remember about three different parties at our local roller skate rink. And I'm just so glad that they're still in business because when I had my parties, I was like eight, nine, 10 years old and I'm already 40 years old. So that's some time ago. And I love to see that they're still around and more people are embracing roller skating and even rollerblading too. But I thought this palette was so cute. Like, I just had to pick this up. It is a pastel palette, but there was just something about this. Like, I'm traditionally not drawn to pastels. Like, I need a little bit more depth. I feel like they kind of wash me out, but I was just drawn to this collection. I, I don't know what it was. I think it was the blushes. I'm going to show you the Super Shock blushes in a second, but we are going to do a look with this palette. I think I'm wearing the right t-shirt for today's video as well. Next up, we have a Soul Body highlighter that came in that collection. This is the uh, High Roller highlighter, and that's what the outward packaging looks like. It's the same size as the blush and here is what the highlighter looks like let me go ahead and just swatch it on the back of my hand Ooh, this is gonna be pretty you can even use this as an eyeshadow look at that oh I'm gonna have fun with this today next up are the super shock blushes this is what really drew me to this let's roll collection I just love the packaging I love the packaging that Colourpop does on all of their collections they really pay attention to detail and at such an affordable price point, I mean, I love that. This first shade, this one is called All Laced Up. This one is pretty. This is going to be a shimmer finish. And there you can see it swatched next to the highlighter. And actually, you could probably use this as a highlighter on certain skin tones. I think if you have a deeper skin tone, that would work out great. Here is the next one. This one is called 360. There's what it looks like in the pan. This one looks to be more of a matte finish. So there you can see 360 on the bottom. Last but not least, we have the shade Jump Turn. This looks really cool. 
And this one is also a matte. But it has a bit, I feel like this one has a bit of a reflect, like a hint of a sheen to it. Ooh, look at that. Obviously it's the one at the top. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm so excited for these. Now from the Peeps collection that was released before Easter, I got the Glowing Lip Trio. I hadn't tried this formula. I actually just tried it like a few minutes ago. This is the one I applied. It's not what I'm wearing right now. Um, but I hadn't tried this formula, the Glowing Lip. This one is in the shade uh, Peeps Orange. And then the other one, this one is in the shade Pink. And then this one, and this one is in the shade Lavender. So let's see, I'm gonna swatch these on the back of my hand. My lips are a bit, uh, actually I'm gonna swatch them right here. My lips are a bit chapped because I was at the beach yesterday and um, it was so windy, we couldn't have our umbrella open because it was just gonna fly away. So I have a little bit sunburn on my nose, on my back and my lips feel a little chapped. So here's what those shades look like, orange, pink, and lavender. So I think I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna leave on what I have because it feels really comfortable right now, but I'm gonna do a little bit of the pink. Mm -hmm. So you can even treat these as glosses on top of a matte. That felt good. <laughs> That felt good. Now I also picked up, I also picked up a lip mask and this is from 4th Ray Beauty. This is the Strawberry, uh, Strawberry Overnight Lip Mask. Here's what the packaging looks like. And in the Winnie the Pooh collection, we get a lip mask and a lip scrub. So very excited for that, but I'm going to get a lot of use out of these guys. This mm, smells like strawberry too. So fun. I like that. And I think with that, that is everything that I got in my haul. Of course, the free blush that they sent me that I'm going to save for a giveaway. Let's start playing with these new ColourPop products. If you want to see my ColourPop haul in action, keep on watching. All right, guys, I do have some bronzer on and I'm wearing this one from Fenty. It is the um, Sun Stalker Bronzer Palette. Oh, it's a face and uh, eye palette. I don't have highlighter on or anything, but um, this is the shade that I'm wearing. I'm actually in the middle of a foundation battle. I have Wayne Goss on this side and L'Oreal on this side. So you'll see that video, I think, before you see this video go up. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna start off with this blush right here. This one is in the shade 360. I'm taking that on a Refer 04. I didn't used to be a fan of Super Shocks, like if you can believe it. I just, I don't know, I just didn't like working with the formula. Maybe I didn't know how to work with the formula, but I've been enjoying them. Like the last, I would say the last year, I've really become a fan of Super Shock. I do like the eyeshadow, the Super Shock eyes, but I don't reach for singles that often, you know? So if it's not in a palette, sometimes I have a hard time, you know, remembering to reach for it. But look at the shade. Ooh, I like that. Now I'm only going to do, I want everything to be the same because I am heading out after I finish this video. I have a fun day ahead. So I want everything to look even which is why I'm only gonna do one look with the palette instead of two for today. I'll owe you a look with the palette. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of All Laced Up and I'm gonna focus that a little higher. Kind of act as a highlighter, but I definitely wanna use the purple one. For me, this shade can be like a, a cheek topper when maybe you don't feel like wearing a highlighter. And guys, the lipstick that I had on underneath was uh, a Wet n Wild Cloud Pout. This one is in the shade Marshmallow Madness. And then, of course, with the pink glossy lip on top of it, this feels so nice, like so comfortable. Like my, my lips needed this hydration. I should have applied the lip mask before coming on here, but I didn't want to use it and then show you like a used product. I wanted you to see it brand new, but I'm going to be using this tonight when I remove all my makeup. Let's start creating a look with the Let's Roll palette. I've already primed my eyelids with the Too Faced, the newly reformulated Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. So I'm going to be changing my shirt. I'm not going to wear this shirt. I'm going to be wearing like a gray shirt. So anything would go 
show, really. Um, oh, the highlighter! We forgot to put... I'll do the highlighter at the end. Um, let's see. I want to do... Of course, we have green, and I love green. Um, maybe a green and blue on the lid, but I'm kind of feeling these tones down here. So I think what I'm going to do is do green and blue, like in the crease, and maybe on the lid. I, I'm not too sure yet. And then I can go in with maybe this shade on the lid or this shade on the lid. And then for the lower lash line, work with these matte shades. So I'm going to start first with the green. And then I'm going to work into the blue. The green shade is called uh, On Wheel. And then the um, blue shade is called Crossover. I'm taking that on a Gain Beauty E01. I'll do one eye on camera and then the other eye off camera. Just to save some time on my memory card. We've had a lot of pastel palettes this year. What have some of your favorites been? I feel like we've gotten more pastel palettes this year than in previous years. And I don't mind pastel palettes. It's just, I, and I, maybe it's just because of my skin skin tone. I feel like I need, I need some deeper shades, you know? I just need, I need something to just pop a little bit, make my eyes pop a little bit more. I'm just, I'm just not used to seeing myself in such light shades. I know you guys have told me that you like the way the pastels look on me, um, especially when I did the Natasha Denona pastel palette review. Um, and some of you are right, you know, you just said you're not used to seeing yourself in them and y'all are totally right that told me that because I'm just, I'm just not, but I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm getting there. Man, this matches perfectly with my shirt. Maybe I should just leave this shirt on. We'll see. I'm going to use the same brush, and now I'm going in with the blue shade. The blue shade is one of those sequin shades because it does have a little bit of um, a glitter overspray. It's like a really fine glitter that doesn't really even look like it's transferring to the lid. Let me get a little bit closer. This Game Beauty E01 brush is perfect for doing the kind of crease work that I'm doing, just kind of like packing and lightly blending. I love this brush so much. Like this is one of my favorite brushes. I do have a code with Game Beauty. It is step 10. It's in the description box along with the link. Um, if you want to get this brush or maybe all of them, I, they sent me all of their brushes, but this one is my favorite. Love that together. Same brush, going back in with the green. All right, so next, let's see. What shimmer shade? I think I'm going to do... Let's try this one. I haven't swatched this palette. Ooh, that feels like a super shock. Or this one is more of a silver. More of a gold. I was thinking this shade. But now... Not so much. And here, let me just swatch this one. So we have all of the shimmer shades there. I think I'm gonna go with this one down here. Or maybe we should do the highlighter. Oh, so many options, right? Let's look at the highlighter real quick. Here's the highlighter. That one might be fun. Let me try, let's see. I'm gonna try this and then maybe use that white shade called Flashback like in the center. I'm gonna use a Morphe M124. I'm not spraying the brush. Let's see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> Let's spray the brush. Oh, there we go. Hello. See, that's taking on like the color of the blue and the green. It's not even looking purple. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to go in with this shade instead. Shocker. Ooh, look at that. Just a nice like a shift. That looks pretty. I'm not going to take it up all the way. Just kind of leaving it right here towards the bottom. All right, so now let's do something on the lower lash line. I'm going to start off with this shade right here and then work into this shade. So that shade is called Venice Beach. I'm taking Venice Beach on a Refer 02. I do have mascara on already because I filmed another video, like an intro. So I didn't want to look too plain. The mascara I'm using is the NYX On The Rise. Now on a Refer 03, I'm going in with Disco Queen. Ooh, this is a pretty shade. Keeping that close to the lash line. I think I'm going to use a pink 
eyeliner in the waterline. I have a feeling I already know which one I'm going to use. It's one of my LA Girl Neon Shockwave lip liners. Either that one or one from NYX. So I think this would be the deepest shade in the palette. Ooh, I like this. All right, now for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with Flashback. All of these uh, shades are so complementary to one another. Okay, guys, we have a look. Let me do the other eye and let me add some eyeliner and I'll be right back to show you the completed look with the Let's Roll palette. All right, guys, here's the completed look. I did add the highlighter right here to my cheekbones. I think it's gonna look even better like outside once the sun hits it. But for the eye look, I just tight lined with some Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. And for the lower waterline, I couldn't find that LA Girl lip liner that I was looking for. I don't know where I put it, but I went in with this one from NYX. It is the Epic Wear Liner in the shade Pink Spirit. And guys, really quick, I need to give a shout out to this new hair product that I was sent from Eva Nye. This is the Lazy Jane Salt Free wave spray i sprayed this on obviously before i came on to start this video on my dry hair i didn't blow dry my hair or anything like that i washed it last night and the way i woke up is the way i sprayed this on and i'm loving the waves that it gave and it's salt free so it's not going to cause like frizziness or just drying out the hair like i purchased the verb uh, sea salt spray and during the Sephora sale I haven't been enjoying that one that one is really like it feels like my hair is dried out like I don't know it just feels like my hair looks really damaged whenever I use that product and with this one without having to put any water in my hair or anything like that like this was the natural wave that it gave my hair this stuff is good. Thank you, Evan I, so much for sending me this Lazy Jane spray. It says it has a hemp seed oil in it, sea lavender. It's cruelty-free, GMO-free, and 100% vegan. Not bad. This is the first product I ever tried from them, but it's definitely not going to be the last. I am loving this stuff. It's going with me on vacation. But this is a completed look, guys. We're definitely pastel today. Um, let me just recap with some of the products. So I use the Let's Roll eyeshadow palette, of course, from ColourPop. I think it's really cute. And if you are not a big pastel person, maybe you don't wear a lot of pastel shades and the Natasha Denona is just out of your budget and you can no longer find the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette because that's a good pastel palette, consider picking this one up from ColourPop because it's just a fun spring summer palette to have in your stash. And especially if you don't want to make the big investment of buying like a full size pastel palette, this would be a really nice option. I think the palette alone is like 16 bucks or something. You guys know how affordable ColourPop is. I do want to give a shout out to the candle. You can't see it, but it's like right over here in the corner. It smells beautiful. My filming room smells absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be trying the lip mask out later this evening. Once again, I picked up the strawberry one, but I cannot wait for that um, Winnie the Pooh collection to come in because there's a lip scrub and a lip mask in that one. And it was so cute because it's in the, the shape of a, a honey jar. So um, the glowing lips, I'm going to have to keep trying these. Like I said, my lips are a bit chapped right now from being sunburned yesterday at the beach but I am wearing the pink one over the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout and it's nice. It's comfortable. My lips feel good. I'm going to be taking this one with me um, as I start my day. So I'll put that in my pocket. I think the highlighter is perfect for this collection. It is a lavender highlighter. This one is High Roller and I use this on my eyes. I used it on my cheeks. And I love it. I think it perfectly complements the collection. Um, I also picked up the Super Shock Cheek Trios. So the only one I didn't use today was this one. This one is in the shade Jump Turn. You can most definitely like use these on your eyes as well. I mean, they do make Super Shock shadows for the eyes, but if you like some of these colors and you wanna try and incorporate it into um, an eye look, maybe you're gonna be using the Let's Roll palette, then feel free to do it. But I think all of the shades that I used today look really nice very complimentary with the shades that are in the palette and i'm so excited that they sent me a free blush in the shade foxy i'll be adding that to an upcoming giveaway 
And that is all of my ColourPop haul, my latest ColourPop haul. Definitely stay tuned. If you want to see the outcome of my foundation battle, Wayne Goss, L'Oreal, you all will see that video first. And then uh, definitely stay tuned for the ColourPop and Winnie the Pooh collection. I should have that video up very shortly after you watch this one. So let me know your thoughts, guys. What did you think of today's look? Did you pick up anything from this uh, Let's Roll collection? Or what are some of your favorite ColourPop items that you can just not live without sound off in the comments down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water and i will see you all very soon bye